Welcome. In this video, I'm going to guide you how you can easily use Invoice to Go. Invoice to Go is a really good software that you can use for managing customer relationship, sending invoices, accept payments, and even improve your cash flow. So the first thing that you want to do, you will have a link down below the description. You want to click on try it free when you will get on the invoice to go. If you already own the account, completely skip this step. So let's click try it free. So name Marcus Tonelius. Then I'm going to copy the email address. I will paste it right here and password. And sign up and then we will continue. Now, uh, what you can do is to send a test invoice or explore the app first. We are going to explore the app first and then we will be sending invoices. So let me show you how it actually works here and what you can actually get by using invoice to go. So when you're going to enter invoice to go in home, you would get the overview of the overview invoices, unpaid invoices. We are going to do this step by step. Let's take a minute to get you set up. Then on the clients, we are going to add a client. We can also simply add a project right here. So that's what we're going to actually do. And then we are going to look on how we can work with invoices, estimate, purchase orders, credit memos, items, expenses, like literally everything. I'm going to show you how we can use it and what you can actually do to achieve things. So let me start first and let's just create a client. Then we will start with the project and then we are going to start and work on invoices estimates based on the projects and clients that we will create and add. So how to add a client? That's the first thing. So what you want to do is to simply click on the clients and click here, add a client. Now I'm going to add a client name. Let's say it's going to be Marcus client. You can add email address here, billing address, phone. So billing address, let's say contact name, phone number, and custom payment terms. You just edit everything here, all the information that you have. Then go to top right and click save. Right when we have it, the next thing that we are going to do, we are going to create project for the client. So let's say that for the Marcus client, I'm going to click on a project and I'm going to top right and click create new project. Client name is going to be the Marcus client that we right now created and create a project. Right here, we're going to see the project name and we will simply add YouTube channel. So let's say that I'm working on a YouTube channel for that client. Then the next step is a project description. So in a project description, I'm going to describe what is the project actually about. YouTube channel is a project about, I know, creating videos on YouTube, project location everywhere. And then you're going to see the dates here. Start date, it's today. And you can have also end date, let's say it's for the whole September. So this is how we can create a project. Then when we have it, let's click on a contact. It's a client, Marcus client, and I can have notes. So this is pretty simply how we can do it. And then I'm going to press X and voila. So when I go back, I can see clearly the project right here. And what I can do is for the project, I can add an invoice. But what you can do is to even do it with invoices right here or create invoices. But right before that, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to create items and then we will continue how we can simply add invoices. OK, so the next thing, how we can add items. So click on the items. Click here, add item. Item name. Let's say this is going to be YouTube video. I'm not I don't have any description. Rate is going to be 100 and you need to type none hours days. Then go to top right, click save. 
voila, here we have the YouTube video. And let's say now we are going to create an invoice. So to do it, you need to simply click create an invoice. And now I'm going to add a client that we already created. If you have mobile and email, it will automatically add it right here. You can add items, YouTube video. You can add quantity. Let's say it's a five YouTube videos. You can add a vast, oh, this is a new one. Like I've never seen when I make tutorial on various uh, invoicing programs, they never ever did it that they knew that I'm from Slovakia and we are not using the sales tax, but we are uh, we are using DPH. It's a done spridane hodnoty and it's always 20% on various products. It's different, like books, it's 15, but I've never seen anyone doing this. It's a big thumbs up for invoice to go. Amazing work. So, okay, this is the item that we have. You can, of course, change the quantity, the rate here, and that's pretty much it. You can even add expenses for, for it. Time entries, and you can add a time entry or appointment. So when we have it and we see right here, the invoice. So I'm going to verify the email address in a second. So what I can do then in preview, it should be different. But as you can see, we have the tax balance due 600 euro bill to Marcus client. And what I can do too, you're just going to send it with attachment. Thank you for the business. And who do you want it to send it to? And then on the right side, you would see the invoice one. You can add a payment. You can add deposit requests. And you can even enable PayPal here. So they would pay it for PayPal. Or what you can do on the bottom right, guys, is a recurring. So what you can do is you can send it even every week, every two weeks or every month. Then when you have everything, go to top right and let's click save and close. Create a new project for this invoice. Not now, but voila, here we have our first invoice. You can always open it. Wait a second, I'm going to like refresh the website. So we have the verified email. Open it. I can view it as a PDF or no. And what I can do is I can add a payment. So let's say mark as a fully paid method. Let's say it was pay paid by credit card and date today. You can even send a receipt if you want to. So if they, if they can pay it with a PayPal or you can uh, automatically mm, like add a payment by yourself. So you can now just click here, add a payment. Nice. And now, as you can see, we have the total and it's paid. You like even could someone, someone could pay like half of it, like 300 euro, not 600. You would have that needs to be paid 300. Now, when I'm going to click save and close, you see that the invoice is not in unpaid anymore, but in paid right now. And this is pretty much it, how we can do it. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is when I would click on a project, project, you can even add invoice right here and you can select existing invoice. It was fully paid Add selected. See, so we have the selected invoice right here that we created and you can add it to your project. Now, when we have it, the next thing I want to show you is how you can work with estimates. And how to actually do it. So what you can do is to simply click on estimates. And you can simply go here and click here, create an estimate. And then same thing, add a client, Marcus client, or just choose client here. You can add an item, YouTube video. Of course, you can edit everything here. You can add attachments, photos and comments. And then you can preview how it looks like. And this is just an estimate before the invoice. And you can send it to someone. Of course, uh, next to the save and close, you're going to see three dots and you can easily approve it. 
decline it or convert it to invoice. So that estimate would be invoice. Save and close. And then what I can do is to choose it, then approve it. Save and close. Now it's in done. And what I can do is to click on uh, this arrow and I can convert it to invoice. So when I'm going to click convert it to invoice, then I would have it in invoices. Converted from estimate one. And that's pretty much it how we do it, right? So pretty easily and pretty simple. Now the next thing, what you can do and how it actually works is when you have the invoices, the estimate, the purchase orders, purchase orders are the next thing that I want to show you. Again, I'm going to top right, add a purchase order. I can simply add a client, mark as client, save client, add items. Same thing. Preview, send. The whole process is really, really similar. I don't know what else to show you here because it's like really simple to understand. Then you have credit memos and you can add a credit memo right here. So again, on a client, I would click add a client and I would add a client name. And this is like, oh, the process is always the same. The name is just different. Add an item, it's for the YouTube video and I'm going to give them only 50 euro. You can of course change the, the text here. Preview and this is the credit memo and send it to someone. I can send it, right? And I can send the credit memo. And this is pretty much it how we do it. Right? So these are the how it works. The next thing that I'm going to show you is how we can add expenses and how the expenses work in invoice to go. So again, in expenses, I'm going to click add expense. And then I would enter merchant. So let's say it's going to be Marcus merchant category, like what kind of category it is. Let's say this is utilities and description and total. Let's say it's going to be 50, 50 euro. And I can even add a photo. Now, when we have the expense, what I can do, I can simply go to top right and let's click save. And voila. So here we have it. And here we have the expenses. Now, what I want to show you is when you would click on home, I'm going to show you how we can even like check all of these. And um, these are the things that I'm going to do in the end. Now on a appointment, I'm going to show you the last two things, how we can add appointment. And how to do time tracking. So again, Marcus Stone as a Marcus client as a client name, email address, phone, you can have the date and time here. You can see the location and you can have documents. So what you can do is then go to the right and let's click save. And voila, here you would have all the important appointments that are actually happening and what is actually happening. Then under appointments, you would have time tracking. Time tracking is also quite simple. You would just click here and click start timer and you would click on a client. And what are you working on? Let's say this would be YouTube channel. And just start. Save. And you see it right here. And you can then build it for a project and for the invoice. So I would click on an arrow right here, build time entry. And this is pretty much it how we do it. So yes.
this is how it pretty much is. Now, when we go further, I want to show you how we can do the last few things, how to add a business name. So you just click here and I'm going to show you the settings. Add your business name, you would add a business name, street address, phone, email, website. These are really important things because like when you're going to create invoice, you would have it right there. Enter your business info, the same thing. So business name would be Sanwi LLC. Click save. Check your tax details. So here you would change your country, the currency, the wow. They even know how, how, what is it? Like many times the, com the companies are like naming this what, but it's each the PH and it's right. Perfect. Tax year starts when your tax year starts. Rates. You just edit it right here. And that's pretty much it how you do it. And then you can see the customize your invoices. And here uh, you can customize your invoices. This is also pretty simple. You would click here, customize invoices, and you're going to see the template. Like I will like this one here. Then you can add a logo and you can even upload your own logo. And you can change the position like this. See, you can even add additional images, changing the color. I like the green one. So it's much easier for them to pay. <laughs> and you can even add a watermark. So this is pretty much it, how we can edit design of your uh, invoice. So now I'm going to click save design and you can even set up the payment reminders. And these would be like the email message that you are sending when you are actually creating an invoice. So here you would have a message. Thank you for your business email CC email BCC. This is how we can do everything here. Pretty simple and pretty easily and just click save. And then you see the refer. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is how we can use invoice to go. This was an invoice to go tutorial, how to use invoice to go, invoice to go beginner's guide. And you can always see that in an overview that we're going to see the unpaid invoices. This is the estimated we converted to invoice. And this would be the September sales on the right side, 720 euro. If you're from the US, you would have it as dollars. But this is pretty much it how we can use it. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you can have any questions, ask me down below in the comments. And have a great day and goodbye. See ya.